Hello, good evening. We're in Berlin, Germany for the FIBA Eurobasket. It's the last quarterfinal, and it's between Slovenia and Poland. We just watched France win in overtime against Italy. Italy missing a couple of late free throws to help France out. And uh, so France are awaiting the winner of this game, Slovenia and Poland. So this baby year basket has really been a spectacular event. The players, the teams, the close games, the fans, and tonight we're going to watch one of the most famous players ever in European basketball, Luka Doncic, and one of his teammates, Goran Dragic, going up against a very determined, upset-minded Poland here in the quarterfinals. I'm Jeff Taylor, joined by Mike Taylor. Mike was the coach of Poland for several years, led him to the quarterfinals of the FIBA Basketball World Cup in China and has been commentating here with me throughout this tournament and giving his expertise and analysis. And once again, Mike, this is the second game we've done with Poland and I'm sure it must stir the emotion seeing these guys that you actually led into this year basket through the qualifications. Yeah, you know, you're really proud of what this group has accomplished. I don't think there were many expectations for them coming in and, and for them to advance and then in the top 16 get a win over ukraine it's just a testament to players like mateus panika aj slaughter now jeff they're going to be really challenged by this pre-tournament favorite slovenia but this is a game you know last summer in Kaunas at the olympic qualifying tournament we faced the same challenge so these two teams are very familiar with each other uh there'll be no surprises out here and then to me it's just about Poland having the opportunity to play free, see if they can try to pull off that upset. And then again, with Serbia and Greece being upset, you know, Slovenia taking care of business and saying, hey, we are now the tournament favorites. We're going to assert ourselves and, and really take care of business. Yeah, sometimes these are the tough games for teams like Slovenia because just as they went up against Belgium, you know, everybody expected them to beat Belgium pretty soundly in the round of 16, and Belgium were... This... He has certainly been among them. He was the MVP, actually, of FIBA Eurobasket 2017. Came out of retirement only a few months ago. Played for Slovenia and the qualifiers. And so again, uh, in fact, in June and no, it was in July and, and in August. And uh, well, the two windows the summer, shall we say. And here he is at the Eurobasket. Great story. Seeing him reunited with his many of these teammates that he won the Eurobasket with back in 2017, including Luka Doncic. And Luka Doncic has uh, become so popular, you could see that a lot of people they, that some of the MVP. And now Luka Doncic, several years later, is widely considered, widely viewed as one of the best players in the world. So happy to see being one of the best players not necessarily mean you are going to lead your team to victory as we've seen with Giannis Antetokounmpo of Greece and Nikola Jokic of Serbia. So we're going to pause for the playing.
Well, all of those fans were uh, certainly booming out the national anthems. That was great to see. And there's the Eurobasket trophy and the players shaking hands. The referees for tonight, Antonio Conde of Spain will be the crew chief. He's standing in the middle as we bring the camera over. Martin Harzov from Bulgaria on the left and Karim Baki from Turkey on the right. And referees, uh, I think, have overall done a very, really good job here in Berlin. The round of 16 and the quarterfinals. And we will start to highlight some of these players. And I also have to say, Mike, uh, there are a lot more Polish fans here today. <laughs> A.J. Slaughter. Yeah, well, love A.J. Slaughter. You know, first Poland player to score 20 points in three games, the same Eurobasket since 1987. He provides so much offense. He's been such a big part of this national team for years. So, again, he'll, he'll have a lot of responsibility and possibly impact. But can't say enough about A.J. And what about Mateusz Ponika? Again, leader. Uh, he's been outstanding, and he's the driving force behind this team's success. Uh, you know, again, he's been he's risen to be the best player in Poland, uh, and again, uh, he's really critical to this team and, and his leadership. And Igor Milicic uh, succeeded you in the helm, and it was a rough a roughish start. They lost a lot of close games, but you know, they've done a good job getting this far. Well, things take time. Uh, and again, they went through some roster situations, but now, you know, they've brought back some of the veteran players and they've gotten on a great run here. And it's wonderful for Polish basketball. You want to see these guys take advantage of the moment, and they certainly have. Luka Doncic scored 35 plus points in the last three games, the longest streak in Eurobasket history, and he had 47, don't forget, in a game in Cologne. Just uh, an amazing competitor. I'm sure that he wants to, to cap off this Eurobasket with a run to the title. And Mike Toby wasn't here for FIBA Eurobasket 2017, uh, but a key ingredient in this team as a naturalized player, much like AJ Slaughter is for Poland. And Toby hoping uh, that they can kind of replicate the, the same great play that they had last year. If you look at the qualifying tournament under coach Sasha Sekulic. Poland have made it this far. It's a great accomplishment. Slovenia, no doubt, looking at the title from the from the very first game. They've only lost one game, Slovenia to Bosnia and Herzegovina, uh, but they bounced back. They beat the other teams that advanced from the group of death in Cologne. And it's interesting that Germany was in Cologne. They have advanced to the semifinals by beating Greece. France was in Cologne. We're in Cologne. They have advanced. To the semifinals by beating Italy. And here is Slovenia, also from Cologne, trying to advance. The only team that did not advance was Lithuania. They were they were beaten in overtime uh, by Spain well, in the round of 16. In that Cologne group was fantastic. It, it prepared these teams for the knockout stages. And again, you have to favor Slovenia. Alexander Paldrowski, Paldrowski, uh, Mikhail Sokolovsky, Aaron Sell, A.J. Slaughter, and Mateusz Panika, along with Kolinda, Zyskowski, Ziwa, Poliesnik, Mihailik, Garbats, and Jakub Schenk coming off the bench. Hey, our Slovenian fan, uh, fan has arrived finally. Must have just gotten off work. Didn't see him before tonight, but we've seen him at a lot of other games. And it's a very good vibes coming from Slovenia. They feel the love. For Gordon Dragic, Mike Toby, Jakob Lazic, Vatko Chanchar, Luka Doncic, and Samar coming off the bench. Rubnik along with Nikolic, Prepolic, Mordic, Zika Demets, and Jordan Dragic not playing tonight. I understand he's out through injury. So he had a, a tumble against Belgium and hasn't been able to make it back.
How much competition, how much uh, confidence rather has Poland gained by beating Ukraine in that round of 16? Well, I think that it's a great step, a historical step for Poland at Eurobasket, and they can gain a lot of self-confidence. But again, these two teams are very familiar. They understand they're playing against Doncic, and Jeff Doncic has given the impression that he will not let his team lose. So we understand what's at stake here. But again, I hope that Poland is able to play free and really be competitive out here today. Slovenia with Luka Doncic warming up three games away, three wins away from a title. You have to think of it that way if you're a fan of this Slovenia team and looking at it realistically. This is this is the team that a lot of people expect to win the title. And of course, Germany following their performance over Greece yesterday. Uh, another huge game could await them. But first, they've got to deal with Poland and then they would have to beat France to get to the final. Germany will take on Spain in the other semifinal. Hello, good evening. We're underway, and Kaczorowski almost starting with a dunk. A high flying. Kaczorowski, whose nickname is Spaku, which means bird, almost flew up there and got a dunk. Sokolowski goes in and banks in a first one. So Poland gets the first basket, taking on Slovenia, who are wearing the white now and attacking the basket to the right. Entry pass and Mike Toby. Nice high split there. Great pass from Doncic. Toby finishing at the rim. Mike, one thing that this Polish team does have that this Slovenia team does not have is they have experience of getting to the quarterfinals of the last FIBA basketball World Cup. Here's the alley oop and Balcharowski with the dunk. Great pass from Panika, setting up the big man. So really all five of these guys, I, I think people tend to forget what Poland achieved in the last several years. There it is again, down to Toby. And Jeff. And that's a problem. Mike Toby is so skilled. He's just a great piece in that pick and roll game. Beautiful pass from Doncic and nice finish. Well, you heard Coach Segulic talking about how he has to get open. You have to get open, Mike. Well, he's gotten open twice. So missing with the jumper. And to Toby, out to Blazic. Again, good offense from Slovenia. Nice pass from Toby. You can see Poland so concerned about Doncic. Konitka, that strong body gets in and gets the Polish fans on their feet again. Chanchar, tough catch. Takes it back out. Now he's going to get it over to Doncic, who goes in for the layup. Zoran Dragic looking on, he's not going to play. Averaging 28 points, that is astonishing numbers. Ponitka. There's Blazic. It's, it's astonishing, especially coming out of, out of Group B in Cologne. <laughs> but then again, he did have a 47 point game. Here he is, passing to Toby. Zoran Dragic. That looked good, and it was. So again, Poland's got to do a better job at the point of attack with Doncic. There's two on the ball. He moves it to the second side. It's too easy right now, ball movement-wise, for Slovenia. There's a slaughter. Uh-oh, the lane opens up for him. He puts up a little runner. 
And that's what AJ can do. Great finish in the paint. He'll get you a bucket. Chanchar. And offensive foul on Chanchar using his elbow to kind of hook the Polish player. To Kwanitka. Yep. Got him. Hey, Jeff, we've seen with Poland, Mateusz Panika's experience playing point this season in St. Petersburg. He's been a primary ball handler this entire Eurobasket. Balturovsky gets it to go. And again, Olek has been in such a great form here at Eurobasket, playing with so much confidence. Great finish there in the post. Here's Blazic into the paint. Chanchar. Regarding the perimeter. Now Blazic backs his way down. And I know you want to gamble, Mike, and sometimes maybe try to knock the ball away, but sometimes when you reach like that, you're going to get the foul. This is Bouterowski. Now, when he played at the World Cup, he was 17. Oh, look at this. The inbounds play. Goran Dragic threw it off A.J. Slaughter. And what's funny, in Prague, the same play in one of their earlier games. So Dragic paying attention, took advantage of A.J.'s lack of vision there. Sokolovsky gets it to Bautorovsky. Good job by Bautorovsky. Bautorovsky, look at this. Goran Dragic, I've played this game a long time, and I'm going to do this. And I'm sure, as you said, A.J. Slaughter has done that many a times as well. And the question is, does he get an assist on that play? He might get a minus assist. Yes, I'm sure. So, Jeff, much like the Olympic qualifying tournament game in Kaunas, the first quarter, lots of back and forth, keeping pace. The challenge for Poland will be, as the bench players enter, you know, we'll see if they're able to keep the pace. Chanchar from deep. Poland wearing the red. Played a great game against Ukraine. Alcharowski, it looks good. It is! What a soft touch he has for a big fella. Seven-footer, showing he can pick and pop. Here's Dragic. Gets it to Chanchar. And the ball batted over, and Slaughter couldn't get it, so Blazic does, and then attacks and gets the two. Blazic so critical as a 3 and D player, cutting to the basket and finishing. Panitka from deep, and he nails it. Great first quarter so far for Poland. Quick pass to Toby. Blazic wide open. This time he makes it. And again, you can see they put two on the ball with Doncic, and the slip is there. Toby's such a good passer on those mid-roll decisions. AJ Slaughter gets it into Bautorowski back outside. Slaughter steps up to the three-point line. Front and back stays out. Oh, look at the pass from Doncic. That is ridiculous! Beautiful transition ball ahead. Outstanding from Luka Doncic. Just threw it on a line like a laser. Great catch, Chanchar and basket. Bounce pass, sell. Old school puts it up. Okay, great pass from Panika. He can play pick and roll. Nice pocket pass. Aaron Sell. Great crowd reaction here by Poland's fans. 
Altrowski and Sokolowski trying to trap. Look at that pass. Chanchar knows what to do with that. Doncic not really forcing the issue with the scoring yet. He reads the game so well, he knows he's got two on the ball, and if he makes a pass, they can create the advantage. Very unselfish. So substitutions here. Zyskowski, Ziva, and Mihailik come into the game. So key moments here with A.J. Slaughter out of the game, the primary ball handler. But Ponitka puts it up. And remember, he played some point guard for Dinamo St. Petersburg this past season. Here's Doncic. Again, Mike Toby now in the left corner. Rattles out. Konitka fouled as he goes up. So the second foul, Mike Toby. That's an interesting development. Of course, they also have Giga Dimets, who I would assume is going to come in. Toby's their best pick and roll roll man. The second foul there is an issue because right now Poland is choosing to put two on the ball with Doncic in the pick and roll, and Toby is such a good passer off of those dives and mid roll decisions. He can move it around and they can create open shots. So Clement Prepolich comes into the game. Are you surprised that they would leave Toby out there with the two fouls? I am this early in the game. Okay, so it looks like Demetz is gonna come in. They might wanna to try to get one more offensive possession out of him here. Benita makes one of two, so he's now gonna take a seat, and A.J. Slaughter, who's had a chance to catch his breath, comes in. Poland. The fans have to be encouraged by this start. Montes going into beast mode. And. Oh. I'm going to say that Slovenia basketball. So the one thing about Sokolowski is he's extremely physical, and he's not going to back down from Doncic bodying him in the paint. He's going to sock it to him. He will. Chanchar. And that is a problem. Again, you know they're shooting all over the floor with the Slovenian team. They chose to really pack the paint against the Dragic post up. Slaughter. And, oh, if you're going to get that from Ziskowski, he's got the answer. Poland hitting some threes. Great job stepping up there, burying the shot from Ziskowski. Oh, look at that. AJ Slaughter takes it right away from Luka. He's going to go in and put it up and in. And Poland has stormed into a 26-21 lead. Outstanding job from AJ Slaughter here, shrinking the floor, poking it away, and then finishing strong. Well, if you can get points in transition like that, it makes it a lot easier. And Poland and their fans are flying high at the moment. Timeout, Slovenia. Mateus Panika being a leader, attacking the basket, finishing strong at the rim, and then 
Again, the other key scorer, A.J. Slaughter, stepping up. Again, here's Mateus hitting a three, doing what it takes to spark this underdog Poland team. So Panicka catches his breath. He's got six points, three rebounds. Now it's going to be Dragic, so they're trying something new. As the ball handler gets it to Chanchar, and he gets in, and he is fouled by Ziva. Chanchar very active here in the first quarter. Yeah, overall, it's been kind of a quiet tournament for him, hasn't it? He's had some highlight plays, the block at one end and dunk True. at the other end. He's had some some moments. It's just so hard to get any of the, the spotlight out of, away from Luka Doncic, isn't it? Yes. He makes both free throws. Final minute and a half here in the opening quarter. And Sokolowski for three. Played such a great game against the Netherlands. Lots of experience really stepping up for his team. Now Doncic, wow, looked good. He came out and look at the pass up ahead this time to Sokolowski. He's got to make that one. Now Dragic fouled in midcourt. Again, you can see Poland not backing down. AJ with a great rebound, pushes it ahead. Here's Sako doing a lot of things on both ends to help the team. Okay, so they're going to look and see if it might be an unsportsmanlike foul if they were playing the ball. Okay, we want to see the play. This foul to see if it can upgrade to unsportsmanlike foul or not. Show me master camera in normal field. Okay? Okay, okay. I need the... Uh, let's see how wide the camera is. No, no, yeah, spider, spider. Oh, me this one, no. No, wait, wait, wait. Spider first. Normal field. Back. Show me. Show me the handhold. No, this center camera. No, this one. He's just in front of him. He's just trying to reach the ball. He's trying to reach yeah. the ball. Normal foul. We are in the back court. Back Follow back forward. Forward. Go, 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 go. Go, go. No, from court, 14 seconds. From court, 21, 21 seconds. seconds. Sideline here. Yeah. So they did not upgrade it. And here goes Prepolic. Doncic. It's only a matter of time. Panika back in the game after the timeout. Sokolowski now catching his breath. Here's Ponika. Trying to slow up Dragic, which isn't easy. And now he turns it over, forcing it. Will they try to hold it for one? Final 10 seconds. Basket would be big for Poland. But you better be careful dribbling the ball in front of Dragic. Nice bounce pass. And he had a good shot. Whew. Prepolic, I think he took it too late. So, 10 minutes in the book, and Poland on top of one of the tournament favorites, Slovenia, 29 26. Inspired start from Poland. 
Again, both teams shooting the ball well from the perimeter. Both teams hitting four three-point shots in the first quarter. Really up-tempo, offensive first quarter. And Sokolovsky played very well in that first that first uh, quarter with five points. So it was Bautrowski, though, who had the big quarter with nine points, two of them coming on that dunk. Luka Doncic really read the game well when he had two players on him. He moved it. He hit the diver. For Dragic with five points in the quarter. And that was a nice, nice move by A.J. Slaughter. That was that terrific pass from Luka up to Chanchar. If you're pulling, you're really happy with your start. Well, scan in the barcode, Mike, if you haven't already. I think you have to get the courtside 1891 app in your smartphone to get video streams, schedules, and scores. It really is a fantastic app that we look at hourly. And now let's see how Slovenia adjusts here. And what about Poland? Are they going to adjust? Well, again, we see Keys, Slaughter, Ponika, and Walterowski with Ziskowski and Mihalik, some bench guys that they believe in. So the second quarter underway, Doncic, no look, and the lob to Chanchar. Balsarowski stepped up to help. Chanchar cut back door. Beautiful no look. Seeing the floor, Luka Doncic. Quick pass. Siskowski goes up and he's blocked by Doncic. Luka Doncic getting all kinds of stats up there. He's hurt his hand, I think, maybe. He's had some hand issues, hasn't he? And again, Poland attacking Doncic, making him defend. Looks like he's got his middle finger on his left hand. Did his teammates step on it? Oh, I don't know. I hope not. Here's AJ. Can they continue to get big points from Bautzerowski? Well, right now they get three big ones from AJ Slaughter. AJ. Taking the challenge to score on Luca, buries a big three. And now, Doncic. Look at Doncic and Balcharowski. Mutual admiration society. And now here's the concern. For Poland, just like in Kaunas, the second foul early on Balcerowski. Which means they're going to bring in Jiva. And this is a factor. It's a different front court matchup without the size, length, and mobility of Balcerowski on the floor. So now we have Toby on the bench with two fouls for Slovenia, and we will see Balcerowski exit with two fouls early. Okay, well, it looks like they might leave Valtorowski in. And Prepolic doesn't get it to drop for Slovenia. Who have uh, made four of their nine attempts. Poland or five of ten from three-point range. Ziskowski gets in, banks it in. Good aggressive play. He's really good attacking closeouts and a nice strong finish there from Ziskowski. What's his nickname? Jay-Z. Jay-Z. Like the rapper? <laughs> Here's Doncic. Ooh. Edo Muric stepping in front of Panika. And now Valtorowski almost lost it. He's going to go up and can't get the drop. Look at Doncic. And the spin. The handoff to, to Dragic, and he misses another one. 
And Slovenia aren't making their shots either. Guys got to get back on D. It's the Polish fans that are providing all the noise right now. The handoff and Mihailik missed badly. The ball went off of Edo Muric. 2.1 seconds on the shot clock. Was that a pass? I think it was a shot. He just rushed Missed it a little it. bit in the paint. Mihalik, a, a really good three-point shooter, kind of got caught in between there. So Ziva comes back into the game. And Valtorowski takes a seat. Here's A.J. Slaughter. Chanchar for three. Oh. And unfortunate foul for Ziva, who is chasing the long rebound. Just ran into Luka Doncic in the process. Slovenia doing a good job tipping the ball back out. Both players hustling here. Ziva, loose ball foul. Mihailik is going to go out, and Sokolovsky is going to come back in. Well, Mike, I mean, so far for Poland, they have to like their, you know, what they've been able to do. But again, Slovenia will start making some shots. Here's Doncic. And his pass to Alexei Nikolic. Not on the same page. Moritz was basket cutting. Doncic expected him to hold spacing. Little miscommunication. And here comes Toby with two fouls. In for Chan Chan. He's going to pick up the score for Poland now. Oh, we've got, still got some offense out there. Here's Zyskowski going right at Doncic. Oh boy, Doncic's got his hand up. Got on him. I think he might have got a piece of that shot. Here's Luca. Oh, not going to stop him, but he doesn't score. He was wanting the foul. Doesn't get the whistle. And now Alexei Nikolic fouls Zyskowski. Again, that's smart for Nikolic because Doncic is slow to get back in transition. Doncic has to be careful going at the referees here. We've seen a lot of technical fouls called. We have, and I think in Cologne, we saw a lot more, shall we say, engagement from the referees with the players. And I think kind of the message that's, or the approach here in Berlin has been, they don't want the engagement of the refs. It looks like we just have a warning here. So you think he warned him about Doncic? I think he warned him. Well, we saw it in the first game tonight. Quite a few technicals. In fact, here's the quick pass to Panitka. Wow. Nice play, backdoor cut. Panitka just couldn't finish. Ooh. And the pass intercepted. Sokolovsky and Alexei Nikolic called for the unsportsmanlike. And those Polish fans that have come in pretty good numbers. I don't know how far they would have come if they've driven or if they've flown, but so far it's been money well spent. They're having a good time. Poland, neighboring country here. Germany. So Sokowski fouled and gets the first to go. And he has been tough tonight. Spent last season playing in Italy, Treviso. Again, good part of the world. These Polish players really began to make steps in their game when they began to play in international competition, whether it's Euro League, Euro Cup, Basketball Champions League, or outside of Poland. Sokolowski, one of the players that has really developed his game. So with the unsportsmanlike, like, you get the two free throws, and then you get possession. Konika goes right past, and strong! Right past Toby, and gets to the basket. Again, Toby's got two fouls, Mateus knows it, right to the rim. Quick wow. pass, what a pass. And they miss, and that's the difference tonight. Slovenia missing shots. 
Siskowski has the shot blocked. Sokolowski able to get it back. Great play by him. Siskowski again. And the shooters bounce. Is that a Brad? No. No. That's Frab. Front of the rim, that's shooter's Frab. touch. Shooter's <laughs> touch. Poland sky high. They're on top 41-29. Could another upset be on the cards tonight? Siskowski, Jay-Z, rapping a tune, getting it to fall. And I don't think it's a case of Slovenia taking Poland lightly. I think Poland deserved this lead. Poland's outplaying them right now. Again, you know, they've missed some layups here. But you've got to have more energy from the Slovenian team. What do you see here, Mike? Well, again, players playing to their strengths. Ziskowski is an outstanding player that attacks closeouts, a good, strong finish here. And we talked about the bench players needing to play a key role. Here he is again, being aggressive. He's known in Poland as a scorer, and he's really established himself. Great job from Jaroslav Ziskowski. Eight points here today, a factor in the first half. Here's Doncic, his team not accustomed to trailing too much, but down 12. Of course, they did trail to Belgium as well. And now the pass right into the hands of Panenka. He's going to go in for the dunk. Really Here comes Poland. Active defensively, Panenka, so smart, plays the passing lane. This would be the mother of all giant killings if this took place. Slovenia need to wake up. Quick pass, Alexei Nikolic. And the shots simply are not falling. And Mike, it reminds me of the Slovenia performance against Germany in the European qualifiers when they lost in Munich before the start of the FIBA Eurobasket. Look at that turnover. And the, and the problem with the turnover like that is you're just giving them two points. Live ball turnover for sure. Mihailik. Oh, no, that was not Mihailik. Sorry. Jakub yeah. Garbacz. He's in the game to shoot the three time. for sure. So Zaskowski goes out. Aaron Sell comes back in. Let's see if Slovenia can make a run of their own here. Great energy from Poland right now. The problem is now they've, they've allowed Poland to really start to think they could do something this game. They're going to die on the court trying. Here goes Doncic. He gets in and looking for a foul. No whistle up ahead. Garbage to Sokolowski. He is hacked. And they might, they might upgrade that one. And he is down. Sokolowski, they're going to help him up. Referees tell the Polish coach, listen, let us do our job. And Doncic limping back. Sokolowski. So they are indeed going to go have a look. We'll listen in. There's Doncic meanwhile hoping he's okay. We can upgrade or downgrade the foul. Do you want to score my foul? Okay. Show me this camera. Down, down, normal speed. Yeah. Normal speed. Wait, 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 wait. He's going to try to reach the ball. He's not reaching, he's not grabbing. He's not pulling down. He's just making the contact like this, okay? This is a normal basketball normal play. Normal basketball play, so we go with the two free throws for this play. Okay, so we're going two free throws. You have any? Yeah, 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 yeah. The free throw for number, let's see. No, no. Number three, okay? Number three, two free yeah. throws. I come forward with the yeah, yeah, normal, normal foul. Normal. Yeah, action in basketball. So they do not upgrade it. And they've taken Doncic out, who's in a little bit of a pain. 
and inserted Samar, but I think that's going to up the intensity on defense. This is Doncic, but not much contact there from the Poland players. No, Doncic has to finish that strong. He landed a little funny. They're looking at his hip on the bench. Again, as you say, the defensive energy should pick up. And now the great thing for Slovenia, you have Goran Dragic that you can play through. Sokolowski makes one. Hey, look at that, the legend, Panyadis Yanakis. He's won the Phoebe Eurobasket as a point guard for Greece and also as the coach of Greece. There is a long three, and Aaron Sell rebounds the miss and hands it off to Panitka. Yanakis knows a little bit about upsets, but Greece to uh, that famous win over the USA at the World Cup in 2006. And some are with the foul. I don't know. Do you get the feeling that Slovenia are in a little trouble here? For sure. They're, they're, it's about the defensive energy and about what they're doing on the offensive side. They've got to get some easy baskets, but Poland has been really inspired, and Poland is believing right now. And can't afford turnovers like that. They seem a bit lethargic. Lethargy is never a good thing in sports. Well, you can't play the game in your mind before you play it and think it's going to be easy. Garbage on Dragic. Dragic has changed the game so many times, and Slovenia, Bla Blazic not able to save it. His foot was on the line. Boy, Slovenia in the process of having their worst quarter of basketball being outscored by Poland, 15 to three in the second quarter. Mike, as we look at the replay here of Doncic, and he goes down, and then at the other end, some physicality, so he's taking some tumbles. But uh, the sense that I get from this Slovenia team tonight, the way they've played is they ha and the way that Poland have played, Slovenia have not respected Poland coming into this game. And that's such a dangerous thing because this Poland team, the core has been there and achieved on a high level. So, you know, Slovenia needs to energize themselves and he needs to find a way to make a run. Poland playing with confidence. Look at that. Nine assists already today. They average 19 or more than 19. There's Panitka from the corner. And shot clock was winding down, so he had to put up a difficult shot. I mean, really, Poland with the opportunity of a lifetime as a national team on a big stage like this, taking on Slovenia with a 15-point lead. Can they press on the advantage? Or will Super Dragon come into play? And the Dragon puts it up and in. And that was Eurobasket 2017 right there. Dragic going left, finishing at the rim. Here's Sokolowski. He puts the lob up, and now the defense does pick up. Blazic knocks it away. And Dragic again, they're going to count it. Two free throws. If it goes in, they would have counted that. And that's the most dangerous part about Slovenia. If you start turning the ball over against them, everything changes. And again, here's the value. And there's Luca's dad, by the way, watching. He's working here for Slovenian television. Concern. The value of Goran Dragic is, you know, now the game's not coming easy for Luca. You sub him out. And now we see the pace pick up. And 
Doran is such an experienced pick and roll player. If there were an issue with Doncic, Luka Doncic, she would go to the training room, certainly, right? To get some treatment? Yeah, I think they're just letting him collect himself on the bench. Go with Goran. Let him be the primary playmaker for a few minutes and try to cut into this lead. Okay. And the pass up ahead to Sokolowski. He puts it up. Poland, once again, go back up by 15. And this is a Slovenia team, folks. Okay, Doncic isn't out there, but a team that a lot of people have expected to win this competition. Toby missing it badly. Remember, there's also no Zorn Dragic coming off the bench tonight. I guess to Doncic, it appears he's going to come back into the game. And it goes, and Jiva! Poland's fans Mateus, living in a dream world right now. Mateus and AJ up top, and they forgot about the diver. Dragic goes in, looking for a foul. The ball goes the other way. And I'd have to see it again, but it didn't look like a foul to me. Again, Slovenia has to focus and concentrate to finish their plays. 19 to 5 in the second quarter. Poland taking it to Slovenia. AJ Slaughter back in. Gets it to Panitka quickly as this. Here comes Sokolowski back to Panitka. Right on the three-point line! Poland! Or right now, pulverizing Slovenia! Great teamwork, 20-point lead. Blazic from the corner, and another chance to run for Sokolowski. Great hustle by Doncic, goes behind his back. Here comes Luka. Gets it up, doesn't get the drop. Oh, he falls into the letting sign. Barks at the referee, and now the pass into the corner. Sokolowski wide open. Good! Astonishing! Just when you thought you'd seen it all at this Phoebe Eurobasket, Poland. Completely outplaying Slovenia right now. Transition defensive issues. Chanchar drifts in and gets the foul. So potential three-point play. And the problem, the temperament of Slovenia, they have to be awfully careful. They don't want to complicate things by getting a technical. That was, you feel like it, it's uh, probably going to be coming. Anyway, a minute and a half remaining, trying to make this to get it back to a 20-point deficit. The best thing that you can say about Slovenia right now is they still have a half of basketball to play. Yeah, they need to collect themselves and they need to focus on the fundamentals. They're not hustling back in transition. And Poland is simply attacking them with floor spacing and teamwork. Ponitka. Having his time in the sun right now, leading this Poland team. Gets it inside the Jiva, and he's fouled. Edo Muric. Slovenia doing everything they can. It, doing a lot of talking with the referees right now. Trying to get some calls, and you can see the expression as well on the faces of uh, Dragic. And hate to say it, but speaking objectively, They've only got themselves to blame for this current situation. Fast break points. Poland, 12 to 2. And Jiva makes it. And Poland with some very big moments in international basketball the past several years. This is certainly going to be one of them if they could spring this upset. Chanchar into the paint. And the block was called on Jiva. 
and you like the way Chanchar is attacking and being aggressive, drawing two fouls the last two possessions. Actually, maybe this is going to be his major league coming out party tonight. They need him. They, he's got positive energy for their team right now. Good minutes from Jiva as he goes out and is replaced once again by Siskowski. Jiva has to go, though. He's got the three fouls. So playing smallish. And can that be exploited with both Balcharovsky and Ziva out of the game? What you like about Poland's lineup here is they're shooting at all of their positions, even though they're small. Look for Slovenia to switch screens and look for Poland to attack, don't you? 19 points to lead. Nobody saw this coming. See Ponika, the impact he's having on the game with those five assists this quarter. Oh. And it looked like the ball glanced, was hit by Slovenia. That's what Poland are arguing. So Poland calling timeout. And both Edo Maric staying out to talk to the ref. Doncic kind of moving gingerly over to the bench. What did you think about those numbers? Well, again, we talked about the challenge for the complementary players, the bench players for Poland, 11-0 bench scoring, and then the fast break points, 12-2. Jeff, Slovenia simply not giving the effort to sprint back in transition. Poland taking advantage of number opportunities for easy scores. Look at Sokolowski, 13 points. What a first half. What a first half, but also look at Panitka, 13 points, seven rebounds, seven assists. Only two triple doubles in Phoebe Urbasket history. And now, add three more points. Mateus Panitka finds a way to impact big games. Ah, big three-pointer. Luka Doncic, maybe that's going to be the first of many for him. Final seconds, ticking off the clock. Slaughter has to get it up. He does. <laughs> and... He knew that Doncic was there for the block. And Doncic is headed to the changing room along with his teammates, not looking comfortable. They are trailing 58-39 to what Poland. A first half for Poland basketball. Poland 54% from the floor, and again, making nine threes. A poor transition defensive effort from Slovenia has given them the, the advantage. Rebounds, 21 to 17, 14 assists, four steals, great bench production. The game could not have gone any better for Poland. Ponika leading the way, Sokolowski, Balcerowski. Outstanding first half for Poland. Slovenia must regroup, and let's see if they can respond. Well, Sokolovsky's had a good first half, but so have uh, a lot of the Poland players, Panitka as well, and Balcerovsky. 
who's uh, got nine points. Panicka has 16 points, seven rebounds, seven assists. So he's closing in on triple-double territory. And, and also trying to become just the third player ever at a Phoebe Year basket to have a triple-double. After Mandake in 2017 in Romania and Tony Kukoc in 2000, sorry, 1997. The determination from this Polish team is off the charts. What a great start. Well, clearly, in a, in a Phoebe Eurobasket quarterfinal, you will have not underestimated an opponent. But let's be honest. Out of everybody here in Germany, everybody was talking, this is a, this is a win for Slovenia. Right. And you know, that must have been told to the Slovenia players. That's, That's pure, all they've heard. It's easy motivation for Poland. Hey, they're not respecting us. They're not giving us a chance. And they came out on a mission, and they have played outstanding basketball. Again, Slovenia's got to get back to the basics, take care of their transition defense. Again, they've got to control the defensive boards, guard the basketball one-on-one. -on -one. And then, instead of crying for fouls to the referees, they've got to simply finish their plays. So they've given now Poland the whiff of the upset, half Slovenia, and they've made life very difficult for themselves. How will Poland come out in this second half? Can Slovenia summon something special? Because essentially, when you're trailing by 19 points against whoever, it's going to have to take something special to come back. Yeah, you know, and this could be a fantastic story of a great comeback led by Luka Doncic but they need to really regroup and respond in this locker room. Who will you become when the moment arrives and you're carrying the expectations of an entire nation, representing your people and their dreams, the colorful faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands? It's time to make your move. All eyes on you, all hope, all heart. Because when you win, you win for all. Rudy again. Got it! Rudy is just rolling back the years right now, folks. Rudy Fernandez, he is stealing the show. And skill. Oh, look at Schroeder. Uh-oh. Look at that. There's Akis. Schroeder does that at least once a game, doesn't he? Yeah, he gets he... the right angle. And the lob to Thanasis. Again, Thanasis at the Kukopo's value. Back to the corner. Rizuela gets rejected by Manson. stake here, the experience. Look at the ball pressure from Spain. 23 points for Aaron Gomez. Great job by Rudy Fernandez. Long shot, got it! Can you believe it? Unbelievable from Jansenen. Beyond half court. It was good from the time it left his hands. Unreal. Look at this. Pins it on the board. And then Agravanis. Lucas from a long way out. Got it! Can you believe it? The second game in a row. A shot from half court or even beyond. And Greece take a four point lead to halftime. I mean, 
Jeff Schroeder comes over to double him, and he still shoots it. Unbelievable. Straight switch. Beautiful. Here's Markin. Hard and close here by Wancho. His fans keep the calls. The double teaming comes. Oh, what a block by Erdogan Gomez. He was triple teamed, and it was just too much. Well, we're so used to seeing highlights of Slovenia all over the world and incredible performances. Uh, but tonight, at least in the first half, it has been a celebration of Polish basketball here in Berlin. They have stunned the defending champions, taking a 19 point lead at halftime. Uh, very different, Mike, uh, to, the, to the game. Uh, that you were coach of Poland when you guys played in Kaunas against the Slovenia team. 100%, and I think that's a big factor in this game. You know, last summer, Slovenia was fantastic. And Luka Doncic, first of all, was outstanding, playing like the best player in the world and elevating his teammates. And, you know, they had a 20-point victory against us in Kaunas. Uh, and again, I think that mentally is a factor here. They're not really ready to play, but now they have to respond. What a fantastic effort here from Poland, led by Mateusz Kanika. A player that we've often said is probably one of the biggest stars in Europe that is also one of the most anonymous stars. Yeah, again, not an NBA player. He's a EuroLeague player, uh, but he has been able to impact the biggest games on the biggest stages whether it's the World Cup or here at Eurobasket, like very few players. Again, he whatever that it factor is, Mateus Panika has it. And he's really close to a triple-double with seven assists and seven rebounds to go with his 16 points. For Vlatko Cancar, 14 points. We were talking about the importance of him coming out and really producing if this Slovenia team is going to overhaul this deficit. Cancar's had good energy. He's been active. He's shot the ball well. He's drawn some fouls. They need more positive plays like Chan Char. Again, this game comes down to the teamwork and effort defensively. Slovenia's got to respond, get back in transition, defend, rebound, create some offense from your defense. And again, don't complain to the referees about fouls. Finish your plays. When they can respond like we've seen other teams that have been trailing in halftime, they can fight their way back into the game. But right now, is critical. Down 19 and a half, they've got to do work here in the third quarter. What do you think that mentality is going to be for Poland when they come out here at the start of the second half? Well, Poland's got to stick to their game plan. You know, they, they did a great job defensively. They limited Luka. The rest of the team struggled to, to finish. You see Sokolowski with an outstanding first half. You know, not only did he score, but he was also being physical with Luka defensively, doing it on both ends. But he's an experienced player, and he's been in the, on this big stage before. So again, you know, Poland, they've targeted Luka defensively. They've tried to isolate him, whether it's against A.J. Slaughter uh, or Mateusz Panika. They've tried to basket cut him and do some things to create some advantages. They need to stick with it. But again, you know, Slovenia cannot continue to allow the transition opportunities for Poland because they're not winning that. Well, sco Poland scoring 22 points in the paint, eight points off turnovers to just two points off turnovers for Slovenia. 
fast break points 12 for Poland just two for Slovenia it's uh, and again biggest scoring run 12 12 points for Poland and in the bench is outscoring Slovenia's bench 11 to 0 I mean everything is completely one-sided yeah and again this is just Poland trying to prove themselves trying to put themselves in position for a fantastic upset and we thought Italy upsetting Serbia would be the shock of the tournament and Poland is positioning themselves for the next shock. I think what as you look at Luka Doncic coming out and I just wonder if he's even going to play in the second half. OK yeah he's trying to loosen up a little bit. Clearly not the same Luka tonight with the nine points four rebounds three of nine from the floor and he does have uh, four assists. But you know this is also coming off a day off. Well, but he did he did kind of fall. He's hit the a ground, couple of times. whether it's his finger, or his hip. He's he's hit the ground hard. But again, this is part of a tournament, Jeff. You're you're going to have to give up your body. You're going to have to lay it on the line. But right now, what we're looking at for Slovenia is the energy level and the compete level. This is the defending Eurobasket champion. This is a team that won the Olympic qualifying tournament and went to the Olympics last year it came within a step of playing in the gold medal game and here we are they are outplayed in the first half they've got 20 minutes to go what type of compete factor what type of energy level will this team come back with and that's the challenge we've seen trailing teams with smaller deficits fight back and make a run you expect the reigning champs to fight like champions here in the third quarter now clearly, I, I don't I don't want to make excuses for Luka Doncic, but it doesn't look like he feels well or 100 percent. And that's part of tournament play. You know, it's not easy for him. Maybe it's not easy for obviously Zoran Dragic, who's out. It's not easy for some of the guys in the Poland team, but everybody goes through it. And again, it's one possession at a time. Don't forget the winner of this will advance to take on France in the semifinals. Will it be Luka Doncic and Slovenia? Or will it be Mateusz Panitka, AJ Slaughter, Michael Sokolowski, and Poland? Well, there'll be a lot uh, of reading on this tomorrow's the Eurobasket website. Scan in the barcode, and it'll take you. You can download the app, get all the information you need about this wonderful competition. Panitka starting things off second half Poland on top of Slovenia 58 to 13 and what is shaping up to be the upset of the FIBA Eurobasket if it continues and good hands from Chanchar they had a lob pass up to Sokowski from Panitka here it was knocked away Doncic Luka Doncic trying to Get into his go time mode. Here he is, the three, and that's good news for Slovenia. Clearly, though, feeling a little bit of pain in his hip. Now, Valtorowski spins back outside. Look at him share the basketball. AJ Slaughter. And Chachar with the rebound. Blazic really working on the ball here against AJ. 
AJ fouled by Blazic. Oh, look at that. Edo Muric reaches in, knocks it away. Good play, and this is not good for Poland as Chanchar gives it up to Blazic. And lots of good ball pressure, lots of good teamwork there from Slovenia. Again, we talk about what type of response we'll see. We see the response of a team that's won championships. And it was Edo Muric who forced the turnover. The next goal here for Slovenia is to get the game under 10. And again, for Poland, you've got to take care of the ball and execute for good shots. This is Doncic with the three-pointer. What'd you hear in the timeout, Mike? So again, they're trying to target Luka, but the problem for Poland now is Luka and Slovenia are switching screens. So they're best if they simply have whoever's guarding Luka come screen with AJ so that they can draw the switch and have AJ or Panika just attack them off the dribble. An offensive foul. And it's Dragic, who has gone down, and he's holding his head. Here it is again. Watch. Well, it looked like he got him with the hand, but I'm not sure it was. Yeah, I think Sokolowski was trying to pivot away from pressure and inadvertently smacked him in the head. I think uh, a little bit of a sell job is there as well from Dragic. Anyway, here, Slovenia down 14. Here they come again. Good defense from Sokolowski there. Chanchar going behind his back, and Bacharovsky picks up his third foul. Might, might they go to the bench early? And they will. Jiva's going to come in. I think they have to. Jiva was solid in the first half. But again, that's a factor. Because Jiva has three fouls. Yeah, and Poland is, you know, Balcerowski's made such a big impact this tournament for that team. Dragic over to Muric. He's open. And Ponitka with the rebound. Ziva able to keep, now they trigger a break, and it's AJ up and goes off the fingers of Cell. Probably, in the grand scheme of things, a good attempt. Yeah, I mean, Aaron's behind the defense. AJ just let him a little bit too much. But again, we see Poland helping off Edo Murch. He has some shots. He'll have an opportunity to make some big plays here, according to the Poland defense. Doncic, short. Now, Ponitka fouled by Blazic. Mateusz Ponitka now with nine rebounds and 16 points, along with his seven assists. Triple-double watch. Fantastic. Alarm bells ringing back in Ljubljana. Slovenia in trouble. Had, had an okay start to the second half. Ziva into Sell! Look at the passing and the teamwork. Outstanding cut from Aaron Sell and finish. Nobody picks up Murich and Jiva goes up for the block. Over to Sell for three. And look at Sh Sokolowski with the rebound. And goes off of Jiva. Again, Jeff Murich did not get back in transition, leaving Aaron Sell wide open. 
they've got to do a better job getting back, matching up, and eliminating those fast break opportunities. Here comes Dragic. Oh, boy, a terrific take from Goran Dragic. And Brother Zoran, all he can do is watch out of this game through injury. Ponitka misses badly. And Sell picks up the foul. And what do we see? Here's, a, first of all, a great drive and finish. Look at that beautiful play in traffic from Doug. But here's Poland stopping the fast break with a smart foul. Their defense is set. And on the other side, transition defense has been an issue for Slovenia, giving Poland number opportunities the entire evening. Doncic gets rid of it. He's got to be careful. Here's the three-pointer. And A.J. Slaughter in run mode. Sokolowski goes up. Oh, what a terrific attempt. Slovenia rebounded. Now they're running in the game opening up. And here's Dragic. He'll get two free throws. Fourth foul on Jiva. That's just outstanding finishing. We talk about what a great finisher Goran Dragic is. He got into the body of Jiva before he could really get to the peak of his jump. Had the three-point play opportunity. But again, here, here's Luka. He got hit on the last play, but adjust to the way the game is being called and make strong plays. Your team is trying to mount a comeback. You can cut the deficit to 12 with these two free throws. Focus on finishing plays, making strong plays through the defense. Big free throw for Gorn Dragic. He makes the first to cut it to 13. Slovenia creeping back. Now down by 12. Slovenia with the smaller lineup, switching screens. Blazic really working on A.J. Slaughter. A.J. Slaughter, a long three-point attempt. Luka gets into the paint, puts it up. Here comes Slovenia, closing the gap to 10. And Jeff, this is what we saw when it wasn't going well in Cologne. Luca just got to the rim. Shot clock down to five. Aaron Sell, that's off. But the rebound, Sokolowski. Open for AJ. And now the shot's not dropping for Poland. Doncic. Bonica. Poland being outscored 11 to 2 in this third quarter. And scrapping away, the ball goes out of bounds. Dragic, left handed player, tried to finish right handed at the rim there. Rimmed out. But here's this is what we need to see more from Slovenia. Spread the floor, get to the rim, Luka. And again, on the Polish side, they're relying on their three-point shot so much. You'd love to see them try to attack the basket, play some pick and roll, put the ball into the post. Poland were 9 of 19 at halftime from three-point range. And terrific effort from Edo Muric, the offensive rebound and put back, and now Dirk Nowitzki's in the house. So Poland have missed seven three-point attempts in the second, in the third quarter. They haven't made anything. 
and their lead has been cut to eight. Already 11 points have been whittled away. Mihailik. And they're going to have to get a timeout. Even the threes are too deep. The lob inside to Toby. Slovenia alive and kicking. And to Balcharovsky, and he's fouled. Again, we see the difference with Spaku on the floor, screen goal, nice pass from Panika. But Poland's offense has got to have better teamwork for good shots. They're relying on, I don't want to say desperation threes, but the shots, they've got to work harder to create better shots together. So Muric, after committing the foul, stood there and Balcharowski fell and kind of clattered into him. And he's uh, getting up a little gimpy, but it seems okay now. But I think if you're Slovenia, you're happy with Muric's minutes and you're happy to get Chancho back on the report. Chancho has been really effective today. Now, I haven't seen Zygadinas at all, have we? No, but again, this is a... You need Toby here because he is your pick and roll big man. And again, now you have some definition in your offense. You can play pick and roll with Doncic or Dragic. And again, Slovenia has responded. Well, now they won't be daunted. It's, 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 uh, it's 60 to 54, and. Just the third point has been scored in this quarter by Poland with that free throw. This is much more manageable deficit for Slovenia. And the ball bounced, knocked out of his hands by Ponika. Ponika again, winning play. Sokolowski fouled by Doncic. First foul on him. Fourth team foul in Slovenia. So Doncic matched up with Mihalik. Mihalik really good running off screens. Let's see if they try to run type of some some type of screening action to make Doncic guard off the ball. What about this atmosphere, Mike? This is pretty good, isn't it? Both fans up on their feet. Both sets of fans, right there. Sokolowski. Good offense from Poland into the post, out of the post. Those are the type of threes they need. Chanchar, wide open. Count it! And again, Jeff, you can't say enough about Chanchar today. He's playing with confidence, and he's really impacting this game. Vlatko Chanchar. Now with 17 points. Mihailik. And the nightmare of this third quarter continues for Poland, being outscored 18 to three. Slovenia can cut the deficit to two, maybe even one. Here's Blazic. It's good. And Slovenia now down by just one point. And again, this is the beauty of Luka Doncic. The last few plays hitting the post, hitting the diver, and now you see Ziskowski pulls in too far to help on Toby, and that's Blazic's game, 3 and D. He's done it for the last years for this Slovenian national team. Outstanding defense, and now burying a big three. Here was Chanchar, one of his three-pointers. Vlatko Chanchar with the 17 points. He is two of four from deep, and also Blazic now two of five from three-point range. Look at Doncic, 14 points, seven assists, seven rebounds. Let's go with a set 24. Okay, Zizou, listen. When you set a screen, go. If it's not, come back. AJ, when you pass ball to Mateus, be ready on this. Hey, go on deep row. Second screen, deep row. Open up for the shot. If we are open, shoot it. But we have to spring back. Yeah. Keep shooting. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. hey. Do not. Oh, oh, oh. So 
So, Jeff, we've seen, and here's Doncic, beautiful pass to Toby, the pick and roll connection, and now the throwback to Chanchar. Again, Doncic reading the floor, making the right read. That's what's so outstanding, and now hitting the corner, finding his teammates, and this is what they've done for the last two years. He's and made his teammates better. 14-7 and seven for Doncic. It's kind of eerie, eerily similar to last night for Greece. There was a point when they were outscored, what, 20 to one in the third quarter? And right now, Slovenia have outscored Poland 21 to three in the third quarter. Must be something about this time of night. Here comes Bokserowski. And the ball knocked out of the hands. And again, Luka back tipping the ball there. Crafty. Olex has got to be a little bit smarter with where he's placing his dribble. Oh, great play, Blazic, all over the place. All the intensity, all the energy coming now from Slovenia. And this is what Jakob Blazic does, high-level defender, making a three, putting the ball pressure on. He beats screen so well. He's able to pressure the ball. He's just a fantastic piece to this Slovenian squad. Can Poland right the ship, or are Slovenia about to take the lead? And Doncic drives in, gets blocked into the hands of Panika. And he hands it off to Ziskowski, and he is fouled by Chanchar. Was that AJ Slaughter that blocked? No, no. No, no. That's how you look up, look up, look up. Well, Zizkowski takes it back up to a two-point lead. Not often you see Doncic drive to the basket and get denied. That was good defense by Poland. I mean, AJ presented himself as the low man, went straight up, and that was a fantastic play. By the way, Benitka needs one more assist to have a triple-double. What are the odds we'll have two triple-doubles tonight? One for Slovenia and one for Poland. Now the ball knocked away into the hands of AJ Slaughter. Ball goes out of bounds, and good defense by Slovenia. Doncic is so smart with quick hands. He may not be the quickest defender, but again, he pressures Ziskowski, knocks the ball away, and deflects it off of him. Sokolowski in for Panika, and Olenechuk in for Balcerovsky. Here's Doncic, and throws it right into Olenezic's hands. If Poland can just start to score again, Olenezic, this is a tough one, Ole, Olenezic. Play. Again, tough situation for him to come off the bench. Not his seeing his first action. Did a great job defensively to come up with the steal. Good position, but now difficult to find that touch right away in the game. Again, Poland with a chance. Spurning it. Savini can tie it with a three. Whoa. Skip pass, intercepted. Great play, A.J. Slaughter. And now, Mihailik can't fall asleep on Blazic. Man, Mihailik just trying to do too much there. 
Luca. Again, AJ Slaughter with an incredible steal. He pulls up on the break. He's bumped. Oh, it doesn't go down. Two exceptional plays on defense by AJ Slaughter. But Jeff, I am shocked to see the decision making and passing from both Dragic and Doncic on these last two plays. Again, low percentage passes that were easily stolen by AJ because he kept his position disciplined. We usually do not see those type of passes made by these such accomplished players. And Slaughter makes one of two. Final shot for Slovenia. Can they get their fans on their feet here at the end of the quarter? Blazic wide open, his second three. Yes, it is from, the, from that spot. Now a one-point game. Sokolovsky, and that was short. Well, Poland are still in front, but only just 18 of the 19 points have been shaved off the deficit Slovenia were facing, and Blazic has been a big part of it. Again, you see a beautiful pocket pass from Doncic, two players on the ball, and then Toby, not only a pick and roll finisher, but a mid roll decision maker and passer. Great teamwork. Blazic with the big three. So three quarters in the books. So Jeff. It's Poland leading 64-63. Poland, after shooting 54% in the first half, dropping down to 42 overall. Again, a 24-6 third quarter. Sparked by Luka Doncic, hitting the three on the first possession. Then the ball pressure here from Murich. Teamwork. Blazic, such an important piece there. Dragic getting to the rim. And again, it's those effort plays that made the difference in this third quarter. But Jeff, they did a better job transition defense. They did a better job in the half court. And then they responded like a champion, defending champion does. And encouragingly for Luka Doncic, it seemed like he kind of loosened up and I didn't see any noticeable ailing going on there. Sky in the bar, scanning the barcode rather for the courtside 1891 app to get your video stream scheduled and scores. Great app to have. And Slovenia, right after making the shot to pull to within one with the Blazic three-pointer, have the first possession of the fourth quarter. So the last quarter is underway here in Berlin. Slovenia, they've trailed by as many as 23 points. They can take the lead. Really nice set there from Sasha. He really, he set up a ghost screen, putting Chanchar at the top, and then drew the pick and roll coverage to the left, throwing it back, creating the long closeout situation for Chanchar. Dragons puts it up. That's it! Slovenia have completed the comeback. They're up 65-64. Unbelievable comeback, yet maybe not unsurprising. AJ Slaughter. Siskowski on the baseline. Just six third quarter points for Poland. Ponitka going to check back into the game. Luka Doncic wanting to put up the three, gets it to Chanchar. Shot, shot clock winding down and missing, but gets the rebound, puts it up. He goes to 19. Again, the multiple effort plays. Really important stretch here for Poland. They've got to organize their offense. You can see Blazic is speeding up A.J. Slaughter. 
Oh, Garbach missing from the corner. Chanchar from the right corner. And those are the plays that are giving them the edge right now, the offensive rebounds, the hustle plays. And no surprise, it's Blazic. Blazic may have caught a cramp here, stretching his toe. Look at the effort. Ponitka back in for Poland. But Jeff, this is where Poland needs a low post presence. They need to try to put the ball in to the post and get a little control of their offense. They're being sped up by the ball pressure. Outstanding effort for Blazic. But maybe that's a break for them as Blazic subs out. Trepolic will come in to shoot his free throws. A break for Slovenia or a break for Poland? A break for Poland okay. because the yeah. defensive ball pressure is not the gotcha. same. Yeah. But, you know, here's the value of Dragic and Doncic. They've spent so much energy in this comeback, and you can see it's draining, especially Luka, a ball handler. But now you can put Luka off the ball and give the ball to a player like Goran Dragic in pick and roll and allow Luka to recuperate and rest a little bit while still in the game. Really tough combination. Just one of two. Four points, the difference. Poland led by 23 points. Trying to rediscover some of the magic. Zyskowski for three, rattles it in. Great job by Zyskowski there again. He's been one of the bench players that stepped up in a big way for Poland. Prepolic from downtown. And again, give Toby credit. Another great mid-roll pass. Prepolic, that's what he does. And there it is. Bacharowski missed. Puts it back up. And fouled by Doncic. Don Panicka, by the way, has his triple-double. 16 points, 11 rebounds, 10 assists. Just the third player in the history of the Phoebe Urbasket to achieve the triple-double after Tony Kukoc in 1997. And Andrea Mandaki from Romania in what 2017. An effort. What a leader. And he's got it against Slovenia. One of the free throws. Not been good tonight for Poland. Just 11 of 19, 58%. And you can see Poland really searching to score. Poland with only 10 points so far here in the second half. Now they force Doncic over to the sideline. Edu Muric from downtown. And that's what they want to give up, isn't it? I mean, Poland will live with that. And the lob. And they're going to call the charge on Balcharowski going up to catch the basketball. And now a technical foul Easy. has been called on Balcharowski for arguing. That is brutal. Have they just lost him for the game? He's out of the game because of the technical foul. And Jeff, we go back to emotional discipline here. Again, they look at, look at Kremlich. I mean, he's taking one for the team. Is that, is his foot on the line? That's a tough call. Again, whether he gave him a step, whether he was in the zone, block charge are the most difficult things, but. Again, you can hear they're trying to say, hey, you've got to let him land. That's why he called the but well, 
that impacts Poland's game plan. It impacts their, their matchups. Difficult, difficult development here for the Biala and Germany. But again, it's like you said, you're not, you're not always going to get all the calls to go your way, but you have to have that emotional discipline. You don't want to get a technical, and then you can't play for the rest of the game because he's uh, picked up his fifth foul with that technical. Jiva back in. He's got the four fouls as well. Preplich comes out and hits the two. And he is a shooter. All it takes is one. You can see him stepping into that shot with confidence. There's Jiva bumped by Chanchar. Good aggressive move. Well, the third quarter has been the killer for Poland, really. And they were outscored 24 to 6. And the offense has just dried up in this second half completely. Good job, Sokolovsky. I thought it was Eva that was driving. It was uh, Sokolovsky. So we have on the floor for Poland, scorer AJ Slaughter, playmaker Panika. Sokolowski and Zizkowski can attack closeouts well. Look for them just to spread the floor and try to create those long closeouts because there's no post-up opportunities for these guys right now. They've got to find something to break down the defense. Sokolowski doing a great job defensively against Doncic. Well, Prepolis gets it over to Dragic. And the ball batted out by Slovenia. Sokolowski was just saw it coming so he was able to get the basketball Ziva come back getting wrapped up by Prepolic so that is the third team foul Slovenia but remember Poland in terms of free throw shooting have struggled 14 of 22 and for the tournament they've gotten to the line the most but they're I think second bottom free throw percentage at 71 percent <laughs> see see is trying to get wrapped up there so they would call the charge. Yeah, good. Oh, great play by Chanchar to block Jiva. And again, the length, missing Balcerowski. Prepolic into the hands. And late whistle, but they call the foul. As long as they get it right. I mean, a lot of body contact on the drive. Although you could say it's being initiated by yeah, Prepolic. I mean, yeah, but those are the difficult calls. AJ going to have a discussion with the referee. But again, let's give credit to Michal Sokolovsky for his defensive effort on Luka Doncic today individually. He's done an outstanding job being physical. And then, again, Panika, historic triple-double for Poland. And, and, Mike, even though it seems like Slovenia have gotten back to their normal selves, it's still just a four-point game. This is not a done deal for Poland. And there gives them a little bit of hope for A.J. Slaughter. A.J. can hit those shots. We saw the guard-guard screen. Panika and Slaughter together. A.J., so good in these pr pressure situations. AJ Slaughter goes to 11 points along with his three assists, five rebounds. Timeout has been called by Slovenia.
So if you're going to switch pick and rolls, you've got to switch up and under with ball pressure on the ball. Again, you want to switch with Murridge there, but he was too deep and AJ made him pay. Central focus point in the Slovenian time. Here goes Dragic, high off the glass, and he doesn't fall. Now Panitka has it. Here goes AJ, drifts in, he puts it up. Poland have come back to take the lead. Technical and a technical has been called on Edu Muric, who has been Barking at the referee all night long. I think it's on Luca. Oh, is it on Luca? I thought it was on Edo. Well, Luca has also been barking. Watch this. Well, it's kind of showing him up, isn't he? Does the expression "When will they learn?" <laughs> come to mind? Again. Critical play here. Technical foul on Luka. Extra point. Wow. Two point lead here for Poland. But again, the issue defensively, you're trying to switch. You cannot get rejected. You've got to send AJ into that screen. AJ, fantastic ball handling and a beautiful thing. Doncic has passed, batted over the hands up by Ziva. It's almost as if Poland have a second win. You feel well, that? They, they came back and took the lead, and now you see Slovenia on their heels a little bit. Five minutes remaining in what has been an utterly incredible game, and there, Chanchar scores to tie it up. He continues to have a great game now, 21 points. Poland continues to keep two players on the ball. That's how they're getting these openings. Good ball movement from Slovenia. I don't think Burridge can hang with uh, AJ. He just goes right around him. But he passes over to Ponika for three. And that's the combination for Poland. AJ getting into the paint. Unselfish kicks it out. Ponika with a big three. Here's Doncic. Oh, don't do that, Sokolowski. You're going to get a technical. What did you do wrong here, Mike? Well, well here's beautiful penetrated pitch. AJ finding Mateus. Mateus, again, rising to the occasion, rising to the moment. Again, Sokolowski, that's such a tough matchup. Again, the size and ball skills. He's so shifty. And then as he just went to the basket, there was the body contact. Did you just hear the, the uh, music? My name is Luca. <laughs> Luka Doncic at the line. It's an area where he hasn't been perfect, shall we say, at this Phoebe Ur basket, the free throw line. And misses both, if you can believe it. Still plenty of time to go, 413, but Poland again with that new life, especially AJ Slaughter and, and Ponika. Ponika, that would have been incredible, but look at that. Zaskowski fouled by Doncic. It almost feels kind of like uh, this Slovenia team has lost a little bit of its confidence or energy or something. Well, AJ and Mateus are tough to stop when they got it going. Just bear in mind, Mike, as Skoski misses a very important free throw and continues Poland's sh shooting woes at the line. Just bear in mind that Doncic has the technical, so he can't afford an unsportsmanlike foul. He can't get another technical, or he'll be gone. And 
Poland has done a great job of coming back. They're up by four, and this would go down as the shock of the Eurobasket. There's Doncic. That's off. And AJ rebounds it, and Poland have it. 340. Slaughter puts it up from deep. Doncic rebounds, brings it up the floor. Sokolowski chasing him. Tanchar for three, goes in and out. And now for Slovenia fans, it's time to get nervous. And the crowd getting very loud for Poland. Ponitka, the superstar of Poland, takes it. Pump fake, and that is it. Luka Doncic has picked up his fifth foul. He is gone. Is that going to be the last time that we see Luka Doncic at this FIBA Eurobasket? Outstanding job. Panika waved off the screens, wanted the isolation. Again, drive, shot fake. There's the foul. Smart play from the veteran Mateusz Panika. Already with a triple-double in the game. What a fantastic performance. Think about this Poland team. Think about what they've been through the past several years, the big level, ex you know, the big tournament experience, playing in all those European qualifiers together for the FIBA Basketball World Cup, the Eurobasket qualifiers, and Panicka has sank, has sunk both free throws, and the lead is now six. And now it's Goran Dragic to show. We've got Tony back in his pick and roll. And Dragic has it knocked away by Panitka. Slovenia have to dig deep. Incredible recovery by Poland. AJ goes in. Oh, AJ Slaughter! A.J. Slaughter, you need a bucket. He delivers, getting to the rim with a beautiful reverse layup. Look at this fantastic finish. A.J. Slaughter, Mateusz Panitka, and Poland. And you have to wonder, really, they've had so many great moments. Is this going to be the greatest, getting to the semifinals of this Phoebe Eurobasket by knocking out the defending champions? especially in the fashion that they're doing it, having blown the 23-point lead and now come back. This year today, combined with the triple double, Mateusz Panika, the two impact players from Poland leading the way. Unbelievable. Who could have thunk it? Chanchar. Run off the three point line, gets it to Prepolic. And Toby chases it down. Now Dragic. And he's going to go in and put it up and in. That cuts it back to a two possession game, six points. Not impossible for Slovenia if they get stops and points. But Poland have had all the momentum here the last few minutes. Ponika gets it to Sokolowski. To be honest, Michael wouldn't be surprised if we had overtime the way this thing is going. Drag it. Blazic with the rebound. The MVP of the last Eurobasket, Dragic, gets it down low, puts up a difficult shot. Mike Toby follows and puts it up and in. 
Boy, it seemed like Dragic was uh, not going to take no for an answer. And he's lucky that Toby was there. Four points now. Can Poland hold on? Can Slovenia come back? The most incredible Phoebe Eurobasket ever only gets more amazing. Ponitka. It's good! Having the game of his life and not saying something because he's had some great ones. Dragic, the charge. Mateus Panika doing it on both ends. Draws the switch, buries the big three against Toby, and then drawing the charge against Goran Dragic. Look at this. Giving up his body, laying it on the line. Seven point lead. And again, now Toby out of the game. They go small because they don't want to switch with Toby onto the isolation with Panika. That last three was huge by Panika. Poland facing pressure in the backcourt. And they're able to get it to Panika, and he is fouled by Samar. Remarkable. Uh, you, again, Mike, you go back and you look at this your basket of all the games, of all the possible results. You just could not have dreamt this one up. And listen to the Polish fans screaming MVP, MVP for Mateusz Konica. What a wonderful moment. Well, I've been saying that for several years. I'm glad some other people agree. He is outstanding. Again, It's not just the players on the other side of the Atlantic that can play this game. And Mateusz Panitka is reminding everybody of that fact right now. 26 points, 14 rebounds, 10 assists. Remarkable. Timeout. Here is the key possession. You see the switch, Morich and Toby switched. Punika dribbles right into his shooting range, steps up and shoots the ball with confidence. Poland bench and fans go crazy, but we've seen it before, Jeff. We've seen Mateusz Panika rise to the occasion, rise to the moment before, and this game will go down in the history of Poland basketball. Well, he had those great plays in China at the World Cup. But this is a different, different proposition here going up now. Blazic puts it up, misses. Rebound, Moric goes up, he gets swatted! by Jiva. Poland pouring it on. Zyskowski for three. And, Zys and Sokolowski with the foul. Maybe didn't need to take that three so quickly. He probably knows it. Because now the foul and now the stop clock, the, the clock stops. And now just maybe a glimmer of hope for Slovenia. And look at Panika communicating to his team. Block out, rebound, spread the floor, use the clock. Fantastic leadership from Mateus here, communicating, organizing, 
Should be 89-81 right now. 89-81. And second is good as well. And now they're going to try to get a turnover. They commit the foul quickly. And remember, Poland have shot. Well, their, their percentage has actually gone up here, up to 69% now. It was down in the 50s. 26, 15, and 10. For Panitka and Sokolowski has had a heck of a game as well. 15 points, five rebounds, three assists. And that doesn't even get into his defensive contributions on Doncic. Yeah, again, Sokolowski, a blue collar, hard working player. Play some three, play some four. Physical defender physical attacking closeouts can post up and rebound does so many things for this national team and he did a great job against Doncic today eight point lead it Murray for three look out here comes Slovenia they haven't given up the ghost now they get the steal and now they're going to get the layup and Slovenia have closed the gap to three in Poland when you remember Zaskowski taking that early three and then the foul, this is when the trouble started. And now they've got work to do. How quickly things change. And Chanchar has made a lot of big plays tonight and he makes another one. Wow. You cannot relax for a second at Eurobasket. You've got to play every possession. What Mid fantastic effort here from Slovenia to fight back. Well, Panitka has played so well tonight, but he was guilty. He threw the ball. He inbounded the ball that was stolen. So, Jeff, Poland has chosen to, for a full court end line inbound, to use the full 24 second shot clock here. But that allows Slovenia to full court pressure. You still rather be in Poland's position, but it feels like the momentum is now with Slovenia. And they get it to A.J. Slaughter, who crosses midcourt. So about a six-second differential, the game clock and the shot clock. Will they let him take it all the way down? Looks like they will. They're trying to play it out. It's a, a risky stop. strategy because A.J., he could take it to the very second, just throw it way up in the air. He's going to put it up, and he misses. Well, they've got eight seconds. they got to hurry. Prepolich. Oh, and he thought they were going to call a foul. No foul has been called. Poland have pulled off the shock of the FIBA Your Basket. They have stunned the defending champions. Amazing game. Amazing win. Poland, the giant killers, they win it 90 to 87 over Slovenia in advance to the semifinals of the Phoebe Euro basket. Look at Igor Milicic celebrating. Look at Luka, Luka Doncic, not the ending that he envisioned. He gives a big hug to Mateus, Mateus Paditka. Jeff, and, his, an incredible fight back, but. Historic win for Poland. Historic performance for Mateus Panika. What a fantastic upset here in Berlin. AJ Slaughter made so many big plays as well tonight. And it was clear that Sokolowski was not going to foul, put himself in danger. They're not going to call that a foul. 
you can't blame. But they could have they could have gone down to try to get off a three. That's the a decent three, you know. And I think that's the point. You know, you you have seven seconds, eight seconds. You've got to try to give yourself a chance. You cannot play for fouls at it, Eurobasket. It is remarkable. It is remarkable. I think it's probably the biggest upset in modern Eurobasket history, certainly that I've seen, certainly at this stage of the competition. Nobody, Mike, was given Poland a chance. Nobody at all. And again, what a fantastic effort from this team. Historic, historic win for Poland. And I think what makes it more remarkable is that they blew the 23-point lead. I mean, Slovenia battled back, and they took the lead. And Slovenia could not complete the fight back. And again, we saw Slovenia respond, and then we saw, re we saw Poland respond. Teams earlier in this tournament, the last few days, once they lost momentum, they weren't able to get it back. Tonight, against Slovenia, Poland was able to do it, led by Mateusz Panika and AJ Slovenia. And look at the emotions coming out. You put in the hard work. You get together with the national teams and all of those windows. You get together and you get to experience something like this. Poland are in the semifinals of the Eurobasket. That is not a mistake, folks. You better get used to it. And Mateusz Panitka, Mike, Padika is waving to you to come down to the court, so if you want to do it, go ahead. Appreciate that. This is what it's all about, folks. Mike had a huge part of this Polish program, and they know, and now embracing uh, Panitka, who came up with the third double-double in the history of the Eurobasket tonight. 26 points, 16 rebounds, 10 assists, and interesting, you know that Mike has really enjoyed working here at the Eurobasket calling these games, but he must have a lot of emotions watching this game, watching these guys. I know he's really happy for his players. Luka Doncic has been one of the, the faces of Phoebe Eurobasket 2022, and he's been one of the faces of international basketball the past couple of years. Uh, but this was a different Luka Doncic and Slovenia that showed up to play tonight against Poland. No one would have expected Poland to get up and to lead them by a big number in the first half and to, to, stretch, to stretch it to go up by as many as 23 points and to be up by 19 at halftime. And nobody, having watched Poland blow the lead, and trail by four to Slovenia would have expected them to recover. You would have thought they would have been shell-shocked, but not this Poland team, not with Panitka, not with A.J. Slaughter, not with Michael Sokolowski. This was a team that held it together, and they continued to believe in their chances. Igor Milicic kept them together on the bench, and just a, a sensational, sensational effort that will, uh, will go down in Polish basketball lore and really your basket lore because results like this and in fact the day is going to go down and be huge as well uh, for every for everybody uh, involved in Poland so and now interestingly uh, the man that so AJ Slaughter getting over Again, how are they going to match up against France? France, if you had heard it in the press conference, if you had heard them in the press conference, they thought they were going to be playing Slovenia. They said the game has to be played, but I think we all know who we're going to play. They fully expected it to be Slovenia. And instead, A.J. Slaughter and Poland have done the business. So AJ Slaughter celebrating. And those guys are going to be legendary heroes for as long as they live in Poland. They will be the team that surprised Slovenia. And again, Mike, put this into context, this victory for Poland. Well, 
coming into Eurobasket, I don't think too many fans really expected too much after the way they played in the qualifiers. And for this team to come together in the group stage and, you know, advance, beat Ukraine, and now upset a team which was a pre-tournament favorite with arguably the best player in the world, Luka Doncic. For Poland, this is a historic win and stuff that they could all be proud of. We saw the brackets, they'll play France, and in the other semifinal, it'll be Spain and Germany. A just astounding Phoebe Eurobasket gets better and better for the neutrals. It's been great having Slovenia, but it's Poland that are still with us. Thank you.